Hello, welcome to the David Podcast once again. Sorry, Maxie doesn't want to be in the video today. She's more interested in the video. Come on. No, not going to see her cute face today. Well, welcome to the David Podcast once again. For the power of the internet, I promise, guys, I will bring shorts to you as soon as I can. Um, update. I was going to do Cuban Sam. Um, but I talked it over with my girlfriend. Um, we decided I decided I'm not going to do it because, you know, I don't want to upset her. And I don't want to upset her parents. And um, I don't want to upset Ashley's mother and Jason. So I was going to do Cuban Sam for like a one night only thing. Bring him on the podcast as a guest. But due to that, I'm not going to do it. I was going to do like a special, like me and Cuban Sam together, and maybe do a few other videos with him, but I decided I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry, guys. But I promise you, I'm still going to be doing these videos for you, and also, you know, the podcast. And also, I'm going to be filming some stuff for, for Special Olympics. Uh, track and Field is, is coming up, so I'm going to be filming some videos for that. Uh, maybe get him awards and stuff, you know, and we'll we'll see what we can do from there. But welcome to the channel. Welcome, you know, to uh, your SmackDown review. SmackDown. Well, it was a lot different from Monday Night Raw. It felt like a Triple H show. Um, Vince McMahon was not there. He was in an Eagles concert. Um, it felt like a Triple H show. Um, it felt very different than Monday Night Raw. Um, it opened up with, uh, Gunther and Imperium versus the Brawling Brutes. It was a good match. I really don't know what to say. It felt like a Triple H show. I have a lot to say about this. And I know there's a lot of people covering hashtag fire Vince. You know, companies give people titles. Like CEO, Chief Officer, Chief Officer of Creative. And I talked to some of my friends, and you know, they, they work in companies. And I work in a company where I have a lot of bosses. I work at Home Depot. And I know what a Chief Officer is. Triple H is in charge of Creative. That's what I'm thinking. I really don't think that Vince McMahon is going to be running creative. I know JD's going to call me a geek for this, but this is what I'm thinking. I really don't think Vince McMahon is going to run creative much longer. And here's the reason why. Number one, I told you this before, the guy has Alzheimer's. Now, Ari Emanuel said that he's friends with Vince. I don't give a damn about Ari Emanuel and Vince's damn relationship. This is business, okay? I don't give a damn about Ari Emanuel and Triple H's, I mean, Vince's relationship. I don't give a damn about Vince. I don't give a damn about what everybody else says. All this is is yak, 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 yak. I think all the reporters, all these, all these news outlets are, are full of crap. They said it in meetings. He's not there. He's not. He was on Raw. He screwed up. What, is, what else is new with that idiot? He's got Alzheimer's. I hate the man. He screwed up. Of course he's going to screw up because he shouldn't be there in the first place. But he wasn't there in January. He wasn't there 
in, 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 he was there in Boston. He wasn't there for WrestleMania. He wasn't there for other shows. He wasn't there. Monday Night Raw has only been a disgrace even before he even came back. And he wasn't right in SummerSlam either. I don't give a damn what anybody says. Phone calls my butt. He wasn't doing anything. He has certain wrestlers that still like him and kiss his butt on a daily basis. And that's Lesnar and some other people. Because they're idiots. They worship the ground that man walks on. I don't. Triple H is running creative. I don't give a damn what anybody says. He's running creative. He has a title. You really think, for the love of freaking God, that Vince, for one minute, Triple H is going to let Vince run that show into the ground? No. No. Ain't going to happen. The draft is going to be run by Triple H. End of story. Okay, I don't give a damn. What, I don't give a damn what anybody says. Especially you're my favorite. You always will be, JD. But that's this reality. It's not Vince. Call me a geek. Call me all you want. I don't give a damn. It's the reality. Triple H is in charge. Vince is not gonna be running creative. He's gone. Farewell. See you later. Company sold. He did what he had to do. He's a freaking billionaire. He made so much money selling it to Endeavor and FUC. So much money. He's eight point billion dollars. Hey, buddy. Eight point billion dollars. He's made so much money. Why would he want to come? The guy's a billionaire now. And Ario Emanuel, they got a relation, okay? So they have a friendship. What's the freaking, what does that have to freaking do with the sell of the company? Nothing. Who, who the hell cares? He might be in the weeds. He probably helping Lesnar. What the hell? That's the what he does. That Cody Lesnar Max makes no sense to me. I think that's the stupidest thing they ever did. I agree with you on that point, JD. He's not running creative. I don't agree with that at all. He's not. He's not in charge. He's not. He's not sitting in gorilla. He's not doing the. He's not wearing his headset. He's not doing nothing. He was doing that on Raw for one night only. Screw Dave Meltzer. I don't give a damn what, what Peep W Insider says. I don't give a damn what freaking, what the elevators say. Triple H is there. The show was written by Triple H last night. He was in an Eagles concert. Okay, so what? He went to a freaking Eagles concert. The man can't go to a concert? Who cares? People are unbelievable. He went to an Eagles concert. So what? If I went to an Eagles concert, would you care? No. But if Vince goes, oh my God. Big freaking deal. I mean, Jesus. I mean, people are unbelievable. He went to an Eagles concert. Wow. Ain't that a surprise? He might he might like the Eagles. What does that have to do with professional wrestling? What does that have to do with the shows? What does that have to do with WWE? Get out of here, Steps. What does that have to do with anything? I watch. I want to hear about wrestling. I want to hear what's going on with, with the draft. I want to hear what's going on with professional wrestling. I want to hear about new talents coming in. 
No, Vince is at an Eagles concert. Who cares? Shawn Michaels has left the building. Who cares if he's left the building? Like Roman Monson said. Who cares if he was at an Eagles concert? I don't. I don't give a damn if he's singing with Elvis Presley. Let the man go to a freaking Eagles concert if he wants to. Have I recorded you? Maybe he likes the Eagles? Unfreaking believable. The man went to an Eagles concert last night. He wasn't in Korea. Because, because he wasn't. He doesn't have to be. He's got his freaking son-in-law running creative because that Triple H's job. Un freaking believable. But SmackDown was good. SmackDown was very, very good. And I really think that a lot of people would like would agree with that because you know, and I like what they're doing with Ray in the AWO and the LWO. I really like what they're going with that. I really think that's going to be a great group for Ray. I really like Ray. The Ray's still fighting with his son. I really hope that, that that's a great storyline. I hope they they change Dominic though, and Dominic goes back with his dad. I hope they really get Dominic and his dad back together soon because this is really hurting me. But it's a good storyline. But the fight between him and his son has to come to an end. I mean, it's a good it's a good feud. I mean, it's one of the best feuds in wrestling. But, you know, Dominic's, you know, building up. And Rhea Ripley, she's going places, man, with that title. I hope she defends it at, at uh, Backlash. I don't know who she's going to fight. There's not many people on the woman's roster left. But Charlotte. They're going to have to get some NXT people up. You know, soon from the draft. Because I'll tell you, that would be the best thing for Triple H to do. Get some NXT people up from the draft. You know, like Triple H said, it's a game changer. And it's going to be. It's going to be a change. Triple H, who is definitely running creative, not Vince. It's going to be a game changer. I think it's going to be the best thing that's going on right now in WWE. And I really think that Triple H has done a great job running creative. And he still is doing a great job. WrestleMania was phenomenal. And SmackDown was great. Jimmy Uso did beat Sammy. Uh, Matt Riddle is back. I heard that last night. Matt Riddle is back. And he's feuding with the Usos. And so is Sokoa. Roman Reigns is taking time off. I ain't freaking surprised. Friggin' part-timer. Um, the Usos. The Usos. And so is Sokoa. Versus KO and Matt Riddle. And, um, excuse me, and Cammy Zayn, Matt Riddle, Sami Zayn, KO, and a six man tag of backlash. That would be okay. That would be a pretty damn good match because it's WrestleMania. It's like the backlash is kind of the pay per view after WrestleMania, you know, so that would probably be a damn good match, I guess. I don't know if I'm going to watch backlash. We'll see. But for you guys, I will because I'm a reviewer. I do the podcast, but but the playoffs are coming, so I really want to see that. But I'm going to be doing Celtics for you guys soon. But you know, I really think that the way things are going right now. With the WrestleMania.
and the heat. I mean, the heat that, that Triple H is getting and the heat that Vince is getting. I mean, hashtag fire Vince when Vince is not even involved at all, in my opinion. I just think everybody's crazy because every time, this is what I have to say, guys. Every time Vince comes on YouTube or anything hits about news about Vince, people go crazy. They hit the airwaves, including me. I've done it. They hit the airwaves. Vince is back. Vince, I see it all the time. I see so many titles. Vince is running creative. Vince is back in creative. Vince has sold the company to Endeavor. Vince is back in creative. Vince is running this. Vince has got a mustache. He's playing the villain. Blah, 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 blah. I think a lot of people drink. Let me get a drink from here. I think a lot of people drink. That's the problem. Blah, 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 blah. That's all it is. To show my girlfriend what this is so she won't get, get heated. Yep. Wait a minute. Zero. Read it. Zero sugar. No sugar, babe. What are you looking at? Can I have one? What? Cat's looking at me. Well, I know. What? I know Gatorade. I know. Cat's giving me a look, guys. Shouldn't be drinking that, Daddy. That's what she's saying. Well, it's only one, Max. No sugar in it. It's all right, Max. Not sugar. Mountain Dew Zero. No sugar. That's what I'm drinking, JD. Cheers. Call me a geek all you want. But that's what these guys do every time Vince makes a video. They come out and they go crazy. It's it's insanity. It's friggin' insanity. Oh, he's backing. No, he isn't. Triple H is running creative. Triple H is back in creative. Vince made his million. He sold the company to Endeavor. I don't give a damn. He's got a good friendship with Ari Emanuel. Who gives a damn about his friendship with Ari Emanuel? They've known each other for years. The only reason, look, the only reason Vince was back that night is because I think the princess cried. Please. Please, Triple H. Give my daddy. Let daddy run the show. I think... Stephanie, the billion dollar princess, had something to do with it. Please let dad run the show. So Triple H, he's a husband. What else is he going to do? All right, Steph, I'll let dad run the show. Thanks, son. And this is Vince. All right, let's look this over. Nah, I don't like it. That's done. This is Vince. Hmm. I don't like it. Give me another one. I don't like it. That's Vince. Now. Great move, Steph. That's Vince. Three times. Writing the script. And this is Triple H. I like it. I like it. I like it. That's Triple H. Why would anybody compare the two? Now, Raw sucks because it's been sucks. Because, kind of, quite frankly, there are some people that go to Daddy Vince. 
to some people that don't like Triple H. Now, Stephanie probably cried and Triple H gave him a chance. Now that's not going to happen. Next Monday, it's going back to the reins of Triple H. The draft's coming. Things are going to change. Things are going to be... They had a meeting with the talent. They told the talent that Vince ain't running creative. They told the talent that. Vince made the sale. It's done. Endeavor's taking over. Whenever that will happen, it's got to be finalized. It hasn't been finalized yet. Okay? Triple H is chief officer of, of, of creative. He's already... Nick Khan is president. Vince is chairman of the board. That's always been that way. Since January, nothing's changed. Nothing. And I don't give a damn what Tubby says. Tubby's always been stupid. But Bruce Pritch is right. Vince is not running creative. No one is. Vince isn't. And this is coming from WWE. Not from Dave Meltzer. Not from PW Insider. Not from, from anybody. This is from WWE. Now, WWE is the company. They're running it. They're not lying. Why would they lie? I don't think they're lying to the fans. The show's gotten a lot better under Triple H. A lot better. Vince is not running creative. If you watch SmackDown, you would know that. That's just my opinion. Call me a geek all you want. But that's what happened. I love JD. I do. He's one of my favorite podcasts. I'm a member of his of his old TS. I love him. But I just, I don't understand why he doesn't believe this. I think JD is really upset because he doesn't like Vince. And he believes that Vince is backing him because of the way Monday Night Raw was run. I understand how JD feels. I feel the same way. I feel bad for Cody. Cody. My friend Jason says they're killing Cody. Well, kind of and kind of not. Cody is a product for Vince. See, Brock Lesnar loves Vince. He doesn't like Triple H. Why, I do not know. Vince books all of Lesnar's matches. I found this out from JD. Vince, he calls up Vince. If he ever has a problem, he goes to Vince. All right, that's, that, that's Brock's bag. I don't have any problem with that. But why would he call up that man that has fuck that freaking man that has freaking Alzheimer's? Sorry, baby. Why would he call up a man that has freaking Alzheimer's? I don't understand that. Brock's got, Brock's got no freaking brain. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Brock's an idiot. Brock, you're an idiot. But back to what I was saying. Lesnar called up Vince. If he has a problem, he goes to Vince. Vince thinks that Cody could be the next John Cena. Um, so he fused him with Lesnar. That makes, makes no sense. Cody is not Cena. Okay? There's only one John Cena. Hustle, loyalty, respect. Cody does not go by that marquee. He doesn't wrestle like John. He doesn't move like John. He doesn't salute like John. Why is he wrestling Lesnar? That's all Vince. Now that's written by Vince. Cody is being handled by Vince? I don't agree with that. Triple H's got to do something about this. That's what JD's pissed about. That segment sucked. That match sucks. Brock Lesnar versus Cody Rhodes a backlash? I think it might be a good match. 
but Cody's going to get killed. Lesnar, Lesnar and, and Cody, it's not a feud that should be happening. Cody should be focusing on Roman and getting a shot at this again. Not Brock Lesnar. They should be putting Cody in the King of the Ring tournament and Saudi of freaking Arabia for the number one contendership for Roman's title. That's what they should be writing about. No, they put him in a match with Brock freaking Lesnar. Why? Why? This is what they should be doing. This is what I'd be writing if I was doing a storyline. Cody in a match at Backlash fighting with KO, Sami Zayn, and that six-man tag against the Usos and Sola Sokoa. Forget, put Matt Riddle out. Let Matt and Randy Orton reunite and put him in a, I don't know. Just put Matt Riddle in a stupid match because nobody get, well, all right, well, maybe Matt Riddle should be involved in something. I don't know. I don't care. Whatever. But that's the story I would write with. That's what I put in backlash and put other matches after that. Whatever. But whatever, whatever. Forget all that. That's the storyline I go with and put Lesnar in another match against Old Mass or something. Because he's freaking, he should be retired. He said he was going to retire, and he's still wrestling. But anyways, that's the storyline I go with. And then, and then, the king of the ring. In Saudi Arabia, the queen of the ring, I don't give a damn too much about. Because there's no woman talent. Then, except Bob Barker and Rhea Ripley. And Oscar and Charlotte. And then, And, and the man, Becky Lynch, and that's it. And then, and Piper Newman, and who else? And Nikki, and Nikki, Nikki Cross, and Oscar. And then, and then, the king of the ring. You write a script. You put Cody in it. The winner of the King of the Ring gets a number one contender shot at Roman at Russell at SummerSlam. What a King of the Ring tournament. And you put Cody in it. And Cody's got to fight his way through it. Wouldn't that be an icing on the cake for Cody Rhodes who lost at WrestleMania fought his way back for the King of the Ring tournament. For a number one contender shot. In the finals. Between him and the man that cost him the title. Sola Sokoa. That's how you book. A storyline. Number one contender. The winner of the King of the Ring tournament. Gets a shot. At Roman Reigns' undisputed title, title at SummerSlam. That's Triple H's storylines. That's the way it should be in the Queen of the Ring tournament. The winner gets a shot at Rhea Ripley at SummerSlam. Wouldn't that be an icing? That would be awesome. Both tournaments for that, for a number one contender shot. That would be better than, than putting a crown on someone's head. Yada, 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 I'm Burger King. I'm Queen of Burger King and Baking PK. Give me a break. I would be doing it if Disney was running it. Disney would probably put Aladdin in there. Hey, Aladdin's running the King of the Ring tournament. Yay! Give me a break. What are you going to do? Put a, put the magic carpet in there with Jasmine too? That's what they would do if, just, if Disney was running it. And Saudi Arabia would put Jasmine there. And the magic carpet. Give me a break. No, no, no disrespect, Jason. I like the movie, but I'm still a kid at heart. But that's what, you know. But that's what they'd be doing if Disney was running it. 
No, no doubt about it. But I'm glad in Denver, and if you see it running, not just the thank God. But, you know, those are the things that I would do if I was writing a script. You know, people have to understand. There are titles in companies. Vince McMahon came back, okay, in January, okay? People went crazy. Now, this is what I'm going to explain, and then I'm going to go. Vince came back in January, okay, to sell the company. That was his goal from the jump. Nothing was mentioned about creative. Triple H was still in charge. Everybody went crazy. Oh my God, he's back! Oh my God! It's like home alone. And then they said he was selling the company to Saudi Arabia. Who cares if he's back? Then he's, he fired some board members. There was story after story after story after story. And here they're doing it again. Give it a rest. It's professional wrestling. He was on a news outlet talking about the company and his father. How many years he's been. I mean, that's the. this is the biggest thing that could hit professional. I think it's the greatest thing that ever hit. That's a great sale. 20 years he's been in this. And his dad, too. It's a sad day, though, because the man really put a lot of sweat and tears into this and decided to see it go. I mean, a lot of budget cuts. It's going to be sad, but that's what happens with a new company. But, you know, it's a good thing. And of course the man's going to be involved. It's his company. He wants to see it succeed. He wants to see what his father built. And he wants to see new things. And he's probably proud of Triple H. And what Triple H has done. I mean, look at WrestleMania. I mean, Vince has to be involved in some shape or form. Because he, because he is the chairman of the board. We can't deny that. I hate him. I can't stand him. And I know a lot of other people can't stand him. In the community. But. Let. It. Go. He's not. Running. Crap. He's the chairman. Of the board. He went to a concert. Let it go. Let the hashtag fire go. Nothing's. Raw is going to suck. No matter what. Until this freaking draft happens. Hopefully Raw will get better. Which I doubt. Cody has to do this stupid match with Lesnar. Which I hope changes. I hope Brock retires. And I, I just hope to God that I'm right. And if I'm wrong, I'll say I'm wrong. But I really don't think Vince is running creative. That's my opinion. Like... Subscribe, comment, favorite, and don't forget, put Jesus first. And I'm not a geek. Bye for now.